Thanks for coming to No Kid today, everybody. Uh, we're really uh, happy to be uh, hosting the meetup, and uh, to be, uh, hopefully this will be uh, a more regular occurrence. Uh, it's nice to see uh, so many of you here today, uh, and I'm really impressed with the uh, presentation so far. Uh, my name is David Coakley. I'm the head of product for our formats and platforms group uh, in Nokia Technologies. And before I talk about uh, the Ozo, which is our new uh, our virtual reality camera, um, I want to talk a little bit about what, what Nokia is now, because I think Nokia is obviously a very well-known brand and company. I think a lot of people remember their Nokia phone warmly from the late 90s or early 2000s. Uh, it's been uh, obviously a very interesting few years for the company, and a lot of people don't necessarily know what, uh, what that's entailed. Um, uh, many of you probably know Nokia sold off our phone division to Microsoft uh, several years ago, about four or five years ago now. Um, so Nokia hasn't made phones for quite a long time. Um, but what Nokia has been making in the meantime is everything else to power a wireless phone business. So we actually build antennas and backhauls and switches and fiber connections. And if you wanted to start up a new wireless phone company, we could sell you everything but the phone. And that's actually quite a big business. Uh, there's 40 billion thereabouts in revenue last year. Um, and uh, we recently completed the acquisition, or completed approvals of the acquisition of Alcatel Lucent, um, which is also in that business, among other things. The combination of Nokia and Nokia Networks and Alcatel Lucent's business makes us the worldwide market leader in that segment. Uh, ahead of Ericsson and Huawei would be number two and three. Um, it's quite a big business, it still has growth, um, but it doesn't bring explosive. Uh, uh, exponential growth, and it doesn't necessarily guarantee that Nokia will be around for another 150 years. Um, so, in around the same time that the phone group was spun off, or a couple of years later, um, a new division of Nokia called Nokia Technologies was created. Um, all of our uh, patent portfolio, as well as um, a, uh, a, a number of uh, top engineers, about 250 engineers, uh, we're spun off into this company, and the focus for Nokia Technologies is to develop the new technologies that will lead Nokia into the future. Um, Nokia Tech is working on a variety of <coughs> sectors and projects, um, and uh, in the uh, when the time came to choose the first project to go live with, um, a variety of R&D teams within the company came to our president Ramsey uh, to uh, to pitch. And this was the project that won, uh, the Ozo Virtual Reality Camera. Um, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this. Um, this is a um, this is a mock-up. Uh, uh, <laughs> I talked about it, so I wouldn't be planning on it so cavalierly. Uh, and if it wasn't a mock-up, we'd have a, a live demo. Um, we are rolling off the production line now. Uh, we have a couple of the Mark ones upstairs, um, but we're not uh, we're not bringing them out for us to be. For this venue tonight, unfortunately, we had too short notice to set that up. Um, but uh, let me tell you a little bit about this camera, uh, what it does, and we'll take a couple questions. Eugene, how much time do we have? Uh, you got two more minutes. Two more minutes left. All right. Well, then it'll be pretty quick. Uh, so, right now, the state of the art for virtual reality, what they call live action virtual reality, that is uh, photography based virtual reality rather than CGI virtual reality. The state of the art is pretty poor, and I know this because I've done it myself. Um, you have to take multiple cameras, assemble them in a jury rigged rig. Um, usually it's multiple GoPros with separate uh, cards. You have to set the settings exactly right, and if one of them fails, you have to shoot is, is over. Uh, what's worse, it's, it's completely impossible to actually see what you're shooting. Um, you have to go through a lengthy stitching process after um, the multiple cameras are done shooting to even see what it is that you've got. Um, so there's, there's quality issues, there's workflow issues, there's output issues. Uh, it's a very painful process. Um, and what the Ozo is, is it's the first camera that you can buy that will actually streamline that process uh, and allow you to uh, create um, extremely high quality, 360 degree, 3D, uh, virtual reality video content uh, with a minimum of, uh, of post-processing and with the ability to preview that content in real time. 
Um, the actual hardware design is, is, is quite compelling. This is one of the things that Nokia has retained the ability to do. We've, had, uh, we've been market leaders in, uh, in cameras, in miniaturization uh, for many, many years and applied that knowledge to this device. Uh, it has eight separate lenses, eight separate cameras, eight separate microphones. Each CCD is 2K by 2K, so that's a total of 16 by 2K. Uh, resolution that's being recorded, output in a single SDI cable at 1.5 gigabits a second. Um, we offer uh, a number of uh, applications. There's two applications that ship with the camera, uh, which enable the real-time monitoring functionality on currently the uh, Oculus, although in the future we'll support Gear VR for that as well, uh, as well as the ability to do limited editing and export into uh, third-party editing software, uh, such as Nuke and so on. Uh, to enable the post-production workflow. Um, how are we doing that? <laughs> We're done. I think that's all right. Yeah. So um, this is a professional camera. It's targeted at professionals. We're already working with um, some of the major uh, content producers, uh, sports leagues, and, uh, and rental offices in LA. Um, the list price is $60,000. Um, so this is not something you're going you're to buy for your kids for Christmas. But it will be producing a lot of the content that you'll be seeing on the, on the headsets that will be uh, rolling out in Q2 of this year. So thanks again for coming. Uh, I do have some sample content uh, from the Ozo camera. I have exactly one headset to show it on. Uh, I'll be over here in the back corner after we're done. And feel free to come by and check it out. Thank you.